Start here. This is where you can get started and learn calculus, differential equations, and linear algebra. That's what we're going to discuss in this video. This video is inspired by an email I received from a viewer here on the channel. I'm going to start this video by reading this email. The person's name is Artur, A-R-T-U-R. They actually have their entire uh, first, middle, and last name, but I'll just leave that out. The subject is where to start. Hello, I would like to learn math. I have a lot of free time and a university degree in civil engineering. I have never been the best student or had the best teachers, so there may have been some gaps in what I learned in college about calculus, linear algebra, and differential equations. Though I do know the basic concepts on these subjects. What book or course would you recommend I start with and why? So first let me say thank you Arthur for this message. And so I did some searching, it took me a while, but I found one book that I think will help you for each subject. So three books, one for each subject. Let's start uh, with calculus. So for calculus, there's, there's all kinds of ways you can learn calculus, right? You can watch free videos on the internet. There's probably free eBooks you can use. And honestly, you can just buy any old calculus book and start going through it. If you still have your class notes, it really helps to go back and go through those. However, if you want a fresh approach and you want something different, I recommend this one. It's Thomas Calculus. And the reason I recommend this one is because this one is not as popular perhaps in the US as like Calculus by Stewart or Larson. So there's a good chance you don't have this book. So buying this can add some value to your mathematical life, right? You can have another math book um, that you can reference. This has different exercises than those other popular books and it's slightly different. Notice it's called Thomas Calculus. So there are multiple editions of this book. I'll leave links in the description of this video in case you wanna check them out. But when you buy used copies, you're gonna get a book that's slightly different because this book has undergone tons of revisions. This is the 13th edition. The older versions of this book were just called Calculus and they were written by a man named George Thomas. And the book was so popular that it's like survived like decades. I mean, it's pretty amazing that it's still in print and it's a great book, it's gotta give it a whiff. It has answers to all of the odd numbered exercises and it contains everything that you learn in Calc 1, 2, and 3. Also, there's courses you can take on calculus. I have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com, so check them out. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but check out my website, mathsorcerer.com. You get a low price if you use my link. So calculus, Thomas Calculus is a great book. Um, I first actually heard about Thomas Calculus from subscribers here on the channel several years ago. People were like, oh, what about Thomas Calculus? So I did some research and I ended up getting a few different copies uh, because I have different editions. The editions are different. There are differences between uh, the newer editions and the older editions. If you're wondering which one's better, it's, it's really hard to say. I do like some of the older editions, but I also do like some of the changes that they've done in the revisions. So there's pros and cons to each. So I just have all of them, right? So you can get them used and you can get them pretty cheap. I'll leave a link in the description. So this can really, really solidify your calculus. And if anyone's watching this video, and you want to learn calculus, this is a great place to start. This is a great book that you probably don't own yet because again, it's not as popular as some of those other big name calculus books. You mentioned differential equations. So in order to learn differential equations, you need to learn calculus. So the book I recommend is this one. I picked this one because this is the one I used when I took differential equations. This is the expanded version. It actually has boundary value problems, but you can just get the regular version. Any edition is fine. Smells pretty good. It's a pretty tough book. I would say that this is slightly more challenging than um, some of the other books I have on differential equations. It's not a perfect book. You're gonna get stuck like with any math book, but it's a pretty good resource. I have a couple courses on differential equations also, which can be really beneficial. Uh, again, they're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. So great book on differential equations. Um, I've done a significant number of problems from it. Also as a teacher teaching differential equations, I've used this as a source of extra exercises. For example, there was a problem in here um, that I've given 
as extra credit <laughs> to my classes. And oh, it causes a lot of pain, but it's extra credit, right? And it's fun and you know, people can work together and there's some interesting problems in here. So if you're looking for challenging problems, you can find those in here uh, as well. So very, very big fan of this book. You mentioned linear algebra. That's a beautiful subject. And this took me some work because I have several good linear algebra books, but I picked this one because this one is good for beginners, okay? It's called Elementary Linear Algebra, and it's by Howard Anton. This one has survived the test of time. I believe this is the second edition, and it's still in the 70s, the copyright. Let's see, yeah, 1973, 1977, that's the copyright. So um, the reason I like this book for linear algebra is because it coincides well with what's being taught in colleges today. So if you take an introductory course in linear algebra, chances are you know, the content in your course is gonna be in this book. Chances are, if you're taking a test, you might have test questions similar to some of the exercises in this book. So it's a wonderful book that you can use to self-study linear algebra. I think it's probably one of the best, if not the best. Oh, it smells amazing. And you can see the previous owner worked through it uh, with intent. It's got some highlighting and stuff like that. So wonderful book, um, nothing negative to say about this book. It's fantastic. Any edition is fine. Again, this is an older one and I'll leave a link in the description. So I think, I think getting some books is probably the best thing you can do, right? And courses too, if you want a course, obviously, you know, if you want a course, I want you to get mine, but any course is fine. But the books are more important, I think, because they have more content, right? Like, you know, the calculus book is going to have way more content than, than a calculus course. Um, so yeah, if anyone else has tips on books, uh, leave a comment. Uh, in the comment section below. And remember, it doesn't matter so much what books you use. So like, you know, you don't have to use these. You can use any book. You don't have to take a course. Um, as long as you get started, okay, as long as you can do a little bit of math every day, I think that's the most important thing. If you do math every day, over the long run, you'll get better. You know, I used to have this teacher and he used to say, just do a little bit of math every day. And I thought, wow, what a brilliant idea. And I didn't take his advice. You know, I would I would go through phases where I would do a lot of math and then like rest, do a lot of math and then rest. Instead of having a more balanced approach where I always did at least one problem a day. I really think it helps if you get some books and do at least one problem a day and that will help you uh, catch up our tour. So yeah, those are the books I recommend. You said uh, why, so hopefully I've explained the why on these books. Um, I think they're all excellent and hopefully um, it helps you our tour. This is a fairly recent uh, email, so I'll try to post this video ASAP. Awesome. It's pretty cool that you're trying to, you know, go back and review your math even after you have a degree, which is really cool. I think that's great. Um, it just, it just makes it great. Anyways, until next time, keep doing mathematics.